Welcome to Cryptocurrency for Beginners. So the first thing we need to talk about are cryptocurrency exchanges. Cryptocurrency exchanges are basically places online that allow you to exchange your fiat, regular real world money, with cryptocurrency. There are tons of exchanges out there from Binance to Coinbase to Kraken to Crypto.com. Which one do you choose and how do you know if it's safe and secure? Well, not all of them are completely secure, but most of the big ones are quite safe. And I'll show you later on in the video, once you've acquired your cryptocurrency, how to store it securely so that it is off of exchanges. I personally use crypto.com for most of my fiat to crypto conversions. It's one of the exchanges that I've been using for an extended period of time that offers some of the best rates and lowest fees to buy your crypto. You can use any of the exchanges linked in the description below. These are my top picks and the safest ones that we're using right now. And I'll keep those links updated if anything changes. Let's hop over to my computer and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, so once you're at your computer, you're going to need to take out your phone as well and navigate to the app store and download the crypto.com app. Once you've downloaded the app, click sign up. There's no need to use a referral code. All that happens is that you'll get an additional $25 and I'll get $25 if you purchase and stake 2,500 crow. There are much better ways to earn crypto, which we'll talk about later on in the video. So go ahead and click sign up. Here you'll see a variety of options that crypto.com offers. You can even get your very own crypto card, but to do that, you have to then purchase and stake crow. Don't worry about that just yet. In the future, many more options will come out. Click OK. Enter your email address. Open up your email and you'll receive a verification link that you'll just click on to open up the app. Enter your phone number to verify your account. Once you've created your account, Crypto.com might ask you to verify your identity by submitting a photograph of yourself and your ID. Don't worry about this, it's completely safe and it's part of the KYC Know Your Customer verification process that exchanges are required by law to complete. Once you've done that, you'll have access to a variety of different cryptocurrencies that you can immediately start purchasing and using. Once you have full access to the app, the first thing you need to do is secure your account. So click on the little gear icon in the top left of the screen, scroll down and click on two-factor authentication. Click enable 2FA, enter your passcode, scroll down and copy the text at the bottom of the screen and download the Authenticator app. Once you have the Authenticator app, click on the plus icon on the top right, click manual entry, name the account, paste the key that you just copied, click done. What this app will do is it'll randomly generate codes every couple seconds that you'll need to log into the app. This is a very secure way to lock your account and I highly recommend it. Copy the key at the bottom of the screen by tapping on it. Go back to the crypto.com app, click proceed to verify and enter the six digit code that you just copied. Successfully secured. Now you'll need to do this and copy this code every time you want to send or receive cryptocurrency from this account. It might seem a bit over the top, but trust me, anything to secure your money. You are your own bank from now on. Once you're back at the home screen of the app, click the icon in the middle of the screen at the bottom, click buy, Choose whichever cryptocurrency you'd like to buy. For this tutorial, we're gonna be buying Ethereum because I'll show you how to transfer that between different wallets. You can then add a credit or debit card. Enter your information here and click add card. I'm gonna purchase 0.1 Ethereum. You'll see the dollar value above that. Click buy. Congratulations, you've purchased your first bit of cryptocurrency. Now click on accounts at the bottom of your screen, expand crypto wallet, and you'll see your 0.1 Ethereum right there. You can use this app to track the progress of your coins as long as your cryptocurrency is stuck in this app. But like I said, it's not so safe to keep your cryptocurrency on exchanges. So I'm gonna show you how to transfer it to your very own crypto wallet. Once you're on your computer, you're gonna download either Chrome, Firefox or Brave browser. I'm gonna be using Brave because Brave was designed to keep your information safe and secure. Once you've downloaded and installed any of these browsers, go ahead and visit metamask.io. Click download now, click install Metamask for Chrome and click add to Brave. Add extension. Once MetaMask has been installed, you'll be visited by this screen and this friendly little fox. Go ahead and click get started. Click let's create a new wallet. Agree to this information. Enter a password. Now when generating a password for your own wallet, I recommend creating something that is incredibly secure. And you can do that by using a program like LastPass or 1Password. But once you've generated a password through these password managers, you should write down that password on a piece of paper. I keep mine safe in a trusty notebook and I write it down and keep it secure in at least three different places. One in my home, one off site, and one in a safety deposit box. The reason that I do this is that if you lose your initial password or your seed phrase, which we'll talk about in a second, you have no access to your cryptocurrency and it's lost forever. Never store these passwords in those password managers because they are cloud storage services and it leaves you open for attack. They get hacked in the future, your password could get leaked, but if it's written down on paper, there's no way for anyone to ever find your password. So I'm gonna paste my password from my password manager that I just generated, click agree and click create. 
This is your secret backup phrase. This is a list of words that are used to access your account on any device, wherever it is in the future. If you lose these words, you have no access to your cryptocurrency. If anyone else has access to these words, they also have access to your crypto wallet. So make sure to write these down in that little book that I told you about to keep them safe and secure. I can't stress enough how incredibly important it is to make sure that you don't lose these words. Once you've written them down, go ahead and click next and now enter them in the order to make sure that you have them correct. Well done, you've created your very first cryptocurrency wallet and you've secured it. This is your crypto wallet. At the top here, you'll see account one. This is the address to your wallet. This address is fine to share with other people if you want them to send you cryptocurrency and if you wanna send cryptocurrency to yourself. Just make sure that you never share your seed phrase or your private key. What is your private key? Well, that is linked to your seed phrase and it's also used to recover your wallet if you happen to get logged out or want to access your wallet on any device. Go ahead and click the three little dots, account details, export private key, enter the password that you created for your MetaMask account and your private key will be revealed. Again, write that down in your notebook and store it in three different locations. Never save this private key anywhere on your computer because anyone who has access to it has access to your wallet. Once you've written that down, click done. And now we're gonna send our first bit of cryptocurrency to our wallet. I'm going to log into my main account so that I can show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer our Ethereum that we purchased on the crypto.com app to our MetaMask wallet. In your crypto.com app, go ahead and click Ethereum click transfer, withdraw, external wallet. You're gonna click add wallet address or the plus sign in the top right of the screen, wallet address. Now the easiest way to do this is to click the scan barcode icon, click the top right in MetaMask and click on account details and simply scan that. You'll see that it adds Ethereum to the first of the address. You're gonna remove that so it starts with a zero. You're gonna name your wallet and you're gonna click continue. You're gonna enter your two-factor authentication code that we created earlier. Open your email to confirm. And just like that, you'll see your new Ethereum wallet show up on your app. Click withdraw ETH. Choose how much you'd like to withdraw. You can click max if you would like. You will see there's a small fee in Ethereum. This is a fee that you'll pay on the Ethereum network for any transaction that you make. Once we're in MetaMask, you'll see that you can manually adjust this fee in the future. But when you're transferring from exchanges back to your phone, you can't really adjust that. So click confirm. This might take a couple of minutes depending on how congested the Ethereum network is. The more transactions happening at any one time, the slower this transaction will be. When transferring Ethereum or cryptocurrency from your phone to your wallet, understand that you can only transfer ERC20 tokens. Those are tokens based on the Ethereum network. So you cannot send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address or Bitcoin to an Ethereum address. If you do that, that money is lost forever. Those tokens effectively get burnt. So make very certain that when you're transferring tokens between wallets and exchanges that you're using the correct addresses. And there you go, you can see that our money has landed in our wallet. A perfect successful transaction. Now that you have your first little bit of Ethereum, I'm going to show you how to use that and purchase other tokens that aren't listed on exchanges like Binance and Crypto.com, but instead on decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, which gives you access to thousands of different cryptocurrencies that are based on the Ethereum network that you can store in your MetaMask wallet. Now I'm gonna show you how to convert your Ethereum to a variety of different tokens. Head over to app.uniswap.org and make sure that it's the correct domain and that it's secured. There are many clones out there and people trying to scam you by creating these phishing websites that look exactly like the original, but are designed to scam you and steal your money. So always be aware and as skeptical and cautious as possible. It's your complete responsibility to make sure that you don't lose your funds. Once you've visited this website, you're gonna to have to connect your MetaMask account. Click connect wallet in the top right of the screen click MetaMask, choose which account you like to connect to, and make sure that you look at what sort of permissions you're granting to the website. And some of them may allow things like infinite token spend, which means that they can remove and send tokens from your wallet at their will. You don't want that. You wanna make sure the only thing that the account can do is view the address of your permitted account. Click connect and your MetaMask is now connected to Uniswap. Now you can enter how much Ethereum you'd like to exchange. Let's say 0 0.01. And now you can select a token. Click this list and there are a variety, hundreds if not thousands of tokens that you can exchange your Ethereum to, like Ample, Balancer, Band, Chainlink, and these tokens represent a ton of different things. It is up to you to do your own research and figure out what these tokens are designed for and why you would want them. The best way to do that is to simply Google the name of the token and read the white paper to understand why it was created, how it works, and what its use case is. Some tokens provide security and privacy. Some tokens are used as transactional currencies. Some tokens are simply speculation and the value is based purely on people giving it value. 
Not all tokens are available directly on Uniswap though. Some of them you have to enter or search for yourself. What do you do once you have your MetaMask? Well, this is sort of a temporary solution. You have your wallet or your funds stored in your browser. You have it stored on your MetaMask. So anyone who gets access to your private key, like I've said before, has access to your funds. So what is the next best step for security? Well, you need something like this. This little guy is a cryptocurrency hardware wallet, the ultimate form of security for your cryptocurrency. Essentially, it's the same as a MetaMask. It has its own wallet address, although it stores a key on it that allows access to the cryptocurrency. You can simply link it to MetaMask and transact through Uniswap and interact with smart contracts that way. But as long as it's not plugged into your computer, no one can access your cryptocurrency. You can't be hacked and it's perfectly secure and also encourages you to not spend and instead huddle, which means hold your cryptocurrency for a long period of time. Because as we know, with the cryptocurrency industry growing at such an accelerating rate, whatever you purchase now will likely appreciate in the future. It might not be in one year, it might not be in two years, but maybe in 10 years. Like I've said in previous videos, if you invested $50 in Bitcoin 10 years ago, you'll have a couple hundred thousand dollars right now. That is just incredible to think about. So I encourage you to purchase your cryptocurrency and store it on a hardware wallet. If you'd like me to make a full video explaining how to use and interact with a hardware wallet, 